What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. Um, in this video, we are going to continue our discussion about our plumbing design. Okay, so last video, we have learned how to edit our stack here, this area. So this time around, what we are going to do is we are going to create our cold water system. Okay, and then we are going to add pipe to connect all of the fixtures in the men's room to the system. Okay, and then you will, will also notice here that I already created the pipe here. So this is the main run for the cold water pipe. So if we are going to check that in our 3D view here, so I open up the 3D plumbing overall. So this is the pipe that we will be using. It's just a simple pipe. Okay, so this pipe doesn't have, of course, the slope because it is for our uh, domestic cold water. So we will be using this to connect uh, all of these plumbing fixtures. All right. So, I mean, this is where we are going to connect all the plumbing fixtures for our cold water system. Okay, so it's just um, straight line, no slope pipe. Okay, so the size of this is 2 inches and then the elevation is 10 foot or I mean 10 feet. Okay, so let's do this. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up the mechanical settings. So let's go to the systems tab and then let's look for the mechanical settings or you can also type MS. And then on the mechanical settings, let's look for the conversion. So here on the conversion on the right side, so we need to change the system. So we are going to create a cold water system. So I'm going to select that one. And then for the pipe type, so as you can see, it's sanitary pipe. So we are not going to use that. So we are going to use the water pipe. Okay. And then for the height of our domestic cold water, so I'm going to change this to 9 foot and 9 feet and 3 inches so 9 feet 3 inches oops sorry so i forget to change that to water okay so make sure that is 9 feet 3 inches okay and then we can also change here the cold water i mean the hot water so select the hot water domestic hot water so let's change that for the water again now for the me the middle elevation just leave it as nine foot so same with the branch here so let's change our branch to water and then for the middle elevation or for the offset so just make sure that that is uh, nine foot as well so why is it our cold water and hot water is different so the cold water is nine foot nine feet three inches and then the hot water here is 9 feet only. So to minimize the opportunities for piping interference, so we specify different offset elevations for the cold water piping and then the hot water piping. Alright? So after we change that, so let us now go back to our uh, window, select OK. And then here in the 3D view, so we are now going to create our cold water system. So how to create that system? Okay, so to do that, so let's select our objects here. And then let's use the filter. So we only want to select here our plumbing fixtures. So I'm going to uncheck the pipe fittings and pipes. Leave the, uh, the plumbing fixtures selected and then just select OK. And then here we need to deselect our drain here because our drain doesn't have the connector for the cold water. It only has the connector for our... Uh, sanitary so I'm going to hold the shift and then select the drain to deselect it from the selection there you go okay so after we select these fixtures so we can now create our piping system so just click the piping and then just change the system name here so I'm gonna change the name to DCW domestic cold water and since the space for this area is 107, so I'll just put 107. Okay, so DCW 107, and then I'll just select here, OK. And there you go. So I'll just select here, Modify. So we now have K 
created our system for these uh, six fixtures. That's why if we are going to check the system browser, as you can see, I now have here two systems. Let me expand that one. So I have one sanitary, which is the one that we created earlier. And then we now have our domestic cold water, which is the one that we just created. So if I expand that one, so that's our DCW107, expand that. And then you can now see here all the plumbing fixtures that is uh, part of that DCW107 domestic cold water system right okay now oh by the way if you're wondering why is it our sanitary is also highlighting when we select for example the unit the urinal it's because this urinal is also part of the sanitary system okay that one because remember we created a pipe there a sanitary pipe from that and same with the other plumbing fixtures now so let us create our uh domestic cold water piping okay so to start with i'm going to change the or i'm going to select the toilet and then from the layout panel so there is this connect into so just click that one and then let us now select this pipe here because we want to connect that to this pipe here so let's click that one and there you go so as you can see the color also change from undefined pipe, it now becomes a uh, cold water system pipe. So just neglect this one, ignore the warning, just close that one, and then just select modify. So if I'm now going to select this pipe, so you can now see here that the system classification of that one is now domestic cold water, right? Okay, so let's do that as well here to this other toilet. So let's click that, connect into, it creates a physical connection between a selected component and a duct or a pipe. So just select that and then select now the pipe. There you go. Now for this one here, so what I'm going to do is, so there's our cold water connector at the top. So I'm going to click that icon to create the pipe. Take note that you can also do this in section view, okay? But I'm just showing it to you. In the 3d view so i will click this one as you can see the default pipe that you will be creating there is 3 4 inch so i'm going to select that icon so there's now my pipe and then i'm going to change here the elevation since i know the elevation here is 10 feet so i'm going to change the elevation here to 10 feet as well so i'm going to type 10 and then enter there you go and then i'm now going to connect here okay just make sure you hold the shift so that the movement is only that direction. It's like ortho. Okay, and then I'm now going to click this. Make sure that automatically connect is turned on. And then just click now the intersection to create now the pipe. There you go. Okay, and modify. And now for this three here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of this. And then I know that the right side, of course, is our cold. And then the left side is our hot. So I'm going to click this uh, cold water connector. So I'm going to select that. Okay. And then I'm going to move my pointer to this direction. And then I'm going to type. Uh, let's say 7 inches, 7, and then the symbol, uh, this one, 7 inches, and then enter. There you go. And then I'm going to move this up. So I'm going to change the middle elevation. So let's say I'm going to type 4 feet. So 4, enter, and now the pipe is going up. And then I can now create another straight line here. You can hold the shift key and then the middle button to orbit your 3D view. So I'm now going to create somewhere here. Okay. Just click. And then I'm going to connect from here. So from the top. 
or maybe I'm just gonna change the middle elevation here to 10 feet as well 10 enter there you go and then let me now connect here there you go modify okay and then for these two here so I'm going to select this I'm going to select connect into so let's click that one and then since we haven't connected yet the hot water so that will gonna be also available for you to select but that is not what we're going to select so make sure that cold water is selected and then just select OK and then select now this pipe there you go and same with this one here so you click connect into domestic cold water OK and then click the pipe there you go okay this is just my design if you have any other design for this cold water you may do so all right okay so that's how you do it okay so that's now our uh, domestic cold water so on our next exercise so we are going to create the hot water system all right so that's it for this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day